So we can say this at every level, from micro to macro, local to global. And we as individuals and as nations, as organizations, as cultures, as tribes, as religions, as uh, Democratic or Republican Party participants, can we realize that we have not been realizing our situation? Truly, we've not truly seen what is. We don't yet truly see what is. We don't truly understand. We're not truly well informed, even if we're absolutely prejudicially, judgmentally, decisively sure that we do. If we, if we, if we understood what was going on, we would have a healthy world. If we understood what was going on, we would have peace in our world. If we understood how we were operating as individuals and how the world operated and how the ecosystem worked, we wouldn't have global warming. We wouldn't have uh, the weather conditions and the fires that we're having now. We wouldn't have the drought and we wouldn't have the, the non-sustainable life process that we're operating from in the moment. So if we can just accept, realize and fully accept that we do not know and we do not understand what we've been doing and how we've created our current global mess, if we can, without shame, without self-judgment, without fear, without insecurity, without worry, without anxiety or stress, if we can just accept that, then we can create space between the notes of the music, so to speak, to say, if we've not understood, how can we get to understanding? How can we get to wisdom? How can we get to conscious discernment? How can we get to co conscious, collaborative, collective effort and constructive transformation to move from wherever we really are to where we would really prefer to be? So are we willing to intentionally understand that we have not understood and to understand that which we have not been willing to understand as of yet? That goes against the personality. That goes against the grain of ego identity. That goes against the grain of imagined, recorded, interpreted history that we have, we call ourselves. And, it, and that occurs within individuals, within organizations, within cultures, within religions, within nations, and within the collective species. If we can accept that this is true, then we can do something else. We can learn a different way to learn. We can unlearn the way we previously assumed we've been learning, and we can learn a new way to learn, a new way to operate, a new way to be conscious, a new way to make wise decisions, a new way to respond, not react, to environmental dynamics intelligently and constructively and in a healthy way, in a loving, caring, kind, gentle way to each other and to the natural world. And if we can't do that, are we going to simply continue blindly, not recognizing where we're headed, the Titanic headed for the iceberg while we dance on the deck and really enjoy the hors d'oeuvres and the music or fight amongst ourselves in a drunken brawl? So if we can accept facts and truths and refine those and evolve them and test them and learn them, and share them rather than argue over them and, and fight and compete over them and try to use them to diminish or destroy each other or attack each other, then we can consciously collaborate and the world would be a whole lot nicer place. We hope, at least that's the present moment of perspective.